Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Here is the former hard-hitting WBC heavyweight champion of the world, the bronze bomber, Deontay Wilder. How you doing? Tyson, you want to take a seat? Thanks, Kate. I've been sat down a long time. I'm going to stand up. Do you not own any shirts either? No, I don't. <laughs> this is the sexy look. I don't have nothing to prove. You know, I'm in a great place. I'm in a, a great state of mind, have always been. You know, I've got a, a lot of great people around me that's been covering me all this time, you know. Um, it's nothing to prove at all. This right here is... Uh, Redemption, retaliation, retribution, you know, and uh, all of the above. I got you. I've just been training there, uh, Kate, you know, taking it day by day, enjoying my life, training for a fight, and that's all we can do. Live every day, one day at a time, and I look forward to today. Because every day we wake up is a blessed day. Remember that. Amen. All these fights are exactly the same to me. You know, I've got some guy trying to take me head off with punches. Um, no matter if it's Deontay Wilder or whoever it may be. It doesn't really matter to me because it's a Tyson Fury roadshow and it's been continuing for 13 years. So I train every day in my life, twice a day mostly. Um, I eat, sleep, train, repeat. Um, you know, I've had a, a few personal problems at home, but you know, there's a, always going to be um, some type of problem or hurdle to get over in life. So it's just how we do it, you know. And, uh, I had a, a little baby girl who was born um, seven, seven and a half weeks ago, and she was very unwell for a minute or two. And, you know, I was there for two weeks in the hospital with her. Um, and as soon as I, I knew that if I got that hurdle out of the way, then I knew that things would be good and I could concentrate on the fight. And that's what, exactly what I did. Do you feel comfortable? I think confident, you know. The baby's 100% at home, everyone's good, family's good. So, you know, daddy's just got to do his job now, that's it. All right, okay. Uh, we've been going from day one, since the last outing, you know, uh, there hasn't been no stop. All the delays and all that, you know, has been uh, beneficial for us. You know, we've been continuing to carry on, you know. One thing about this uh, camp that I've had, I've been able to have all my brothers around me from, you know, from the, from the start. And we're here, we're all together now, you know. So I've been talking about the love that's been around me all this time, and it's been real. It's been, it's been amazing for me, you know, when Many people thought I was down, depressed, and all that. I can't be. It wouldn't be fair to the people that I have around me to even feel that way. Certain things, I didn't even know what was going on in the world, you know what I mean? Because of my focus and my de dedication that I've had, you know? And uh, it's just been amazing. Overtraining. Overtraining is a real thing. And um, we've been able to... To, we've been able to stop at certain times, take take breaks certain times, and get back at it. You know, certain things, it'll be a little lighter than others, you know, until we we're able to get back on track, you know. So uh, everything has been good. We, I think we've timed everything out perfectly. I think we've uh, done all the right things. And um, come Saturday night, it's going to be definitely a different fight, you know, for all the, the fans. You know, they should be excited. You know, it's not rare that we get trilogies like this. And... Uh, I think it's gonna go down in history. I don't regret it, and I'll go to my grave believing in what I believe in. I know things for fact, I have confirmation, clarity of a lot of things, and which, you know, one thing about it, you know, men lie, women lie, but your eyes don't lie what you see, you know? So, many can, people can believe what they want. We're all human. We believe what we want, but the eyes don't lie. And it only made me better as a man, as a fighter, to understand and to, under, to see certain things and know things for facts, you know, it made me even hungrier than before. Uh, God is a great God, and it's, 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 He don't make mistakes. I wouldn't take it back for nothing because I, I nothing that I've even the way I felt even coming into the fight, even when the way when he Chris took the mask off me, how I felt, I wouldn't take it back for nothing. I needed it. It was a blessing in disguise. 
I don't care because obviously it's coming from an unwell person. Um, he accused me of everything, accused his team, his trainer, the suit, injuries. Um, who else did he accuse? Oh, the Athletic State Commission of Nevada, they were in on it as well, the referee, uh, whoever else. Maybe if you'd come out with one of these excuses, then it would have been believable, but not 50 of them, come on. Um, and he can believe what he wants. What it tells me is that it's a weak, mental little person who I'm going to knock Spark out on Saturday night. Um, I beat him the first time after three years out of the ring. Quite comfortable, actually. He won two rounds of a 12 rounder. I absolutely obliterated him in the rematch. He didn't even win any of the rounds. And in the third fight, I just see much more the same. In fact, he's even copying me. Look, he's got no t shirt on today. He learned that from me. I'm famous for wearing no shirt in press conferences and having no shirts on. This guy's copying me all the time. And I know it's, it's, I'm an inspiring person and everybody wants to be like T. But you know, it's supposed to be Bronze Bomber. Do your own thing. Stop copying the Gypsy King. And listen, I hope you got your excuse book ready, Dosser. And what's he doing here? He should have had the sack as well, J. Deals. Because if Mark Brillin was doing it, he was in on it as well because he was in the changing rooms. Watch my hands get wrapped. I want to know what you've got to say, J. Deals. You was there. Are you on the conspiracy as well? Uh, we are going to bring trainers up. No, when you know the truth, they said the truth will set you free. I, I don't, I, you know, there's no pressure on me. And then when you have nothing to lose, there's no pressure at all. All the pressure is on him. Is that how you feel if you've got nothing to lose in this fight? It's nothing to lose. Nothing to lose and everything to gain. Why do you say nothing to lose? Because I think a lot of people would say that your legacy is potentially on well, the line in this your fight. Legacy is, your legacy only dies when, when the man dies, when the desire and the fire is out, your heart for the sport or anything that you do in life. When that dies, so does your legacy. And I'm well alive. Oh, I'm it. from it all. I've come <laughs> under a lot of pressure because I forgot that Alexander Rusek's been a world champion for five minutes. Forgive me on that one. I do apologize. Oh, apo yeah, you're right. Sorry. Usek. Yeah, yeah, yeah just one all about, so. Congratulations to him, by the way. But I was just talking about the group that we were in before Usek even come into the picture. Mm -hmm. Out of all of us from like years gone by, like say the last 10 years, there's only me, last man standing. And I'm the one who's had all the problems, all the inactivity, everything. And I'm still here, still undefeated. I'm a lone soldier now. You the last one undefeated. Actually, the, t the first two-time heavyweight champion of the world who never lost a fight. How amazing is that? You have History um, maker, if I was interested in that sort of thing. You've told Choose my words wisely, you know. Mm -hmm. People always take my words out of context, you know. And uh, that's why I've been very silent, you know. Like I said, silence is golden. And at this point in time, it's all action for me. Action, action, action. I don't have many words to say, you know. Um, I wasn't planning on even talking today. I was I going to have Malik coming up. You. But, you know, I respect you, Kate. Thank you. And uh, I'm just ready to show action. I respect One more that I can say that, that hasn't already been said, you know. I just uh, tell you guys to prepare yourself and uh, prepare yourself on the battlefield and get ready for war. Because this is right here because it's going to be an amazing fight come October the 9th. And uh, as you see, I'm wearing my red outfit, so I want it back in blood. And I'm looking forward to it. And I'll see you guys there. Tyson, you're up. Well, I've got a lot to say, actually. <laughs> um, here's something that I think I need to say. It's like, Wilder said that I only won the second fight because I cheated. But then he goes and changes his whole team and does all this extra training and trains as hard as he's ever trained and bring on all his team and all that. So I ask the question is, if I only won because I cheated, what was the point in changing everything and doing all this other work? Can anybody answer that question? I know he can't, doesn't have the brains to. So no one can answer that question, can they? So the fact that I've egg in your face, bitch, is the word. That's what we say. And here's another one. He says he wants to do bad things to me and hurt me and do all this malice feelings and he's got anger and aggression. Well, for those who hold a hot coal with the intentions of throwing it at somebody, guess what? They're the ones who's going to get burnt. I don't want to hurt Deontay Wilder. I just want to beat him in a fight. And he knows what he's saying is lies. And deep down in his soul, he knows that he lost. 
and he'll lose again. And he lost the first time, he lost the second time, and he's going to lose the third time. And guess what? After this fight, he'll be back working in that fast food chain that he was working at earlier on in his career. Because that's the only place he's going to be welcome. It's easy to answer Retirement your question. for him. It's Retirement, easy to answer Dossa. Your question. Retirement, Dossa. The, the answer to your question is why you changed for the first and second. No, that ain't the answer to the question. That's another question. So that's not an answer. If I only won because I cheated, why do all this extra training? Why you because change, obviously, why you, change the obviously you can beat me with the old the training you were doing as long as I didn't so cheat. So ask yourself that question. Uh, you go ask yourself the question. If I've done all this cheating, I see nervous energy. Yeah, then why has he not prepared himself? He hasn't done any extra steps at all to stop me from cheating why you explain, again. Why you explain yourself? I'm not explaining myself. I'm asking you, you the you, question. You haven't denied any what allegations have you done? to this point. I don't need to deny it because it's you true. You know what I'm saying? You it's haven't denied true. any I had allegations. On. I had a you turbo don't, even, jets want, on you don't even want certain media in here to give all you the tough it. questions. All you have it. nobody to give you the tough questions. And there's nobody in here that can me? ask me a tough question. So when it's like You're that, in denial and you're getting knocked out. Let's make it happen. And you're going to retire. You, you retire. You don't know nothing about knocking no one out. Do yourself a favor. You don't have knockout power. Your legacy's in bits. Even in my worst even in my worst time, you still like a bitch. I didn't no feel one's nothing. even believed you. I didn't feel They're anything. You were wondering like why I kept getting up and getting up. Because really I didn't feel, Everybody's I didn't feel, I didn't laughing feel at you. nothing. You have no power. Million You're not a knockout excuses. artist. I well, am I knocked a you knockout out, artist. Dosser. Nah, I, yeah. I went out on my feet. That's a knockout. I had a disloyal you trainer got to throw the towel Dosser. in. Dosser. And guess what? When knocked someone throw the towel in after the boss tell them not to do, the employee get fired. Yeah, but you said I had knuckle dusters on. JD is just in the room while I had the fucking uh, gloves that, on. Why didn't he say something that, then? Hey, He's in on it don't too. Don't worry about him. He's in on don't, it. Don't worry about him. I, I handle I'm my team like you. I handle my Shelly team. Shelly Finkel, He's in you on it too. You handle yours like you handle yours. You're a weak man. You get yeah, knocked out. Thank you. End of. Thank you. I'm the only one that defended my title ten times. I, I, go don't down need in to, I don't need to defend six. titles. How many times That's have you defended? Like you. How Dosses many times? Like I don't have to them. cheat. I don't need to. I've never had to cheat in years. I've come here representing If you look up your history today, and you look up my history, like Trump dressed which I advise everyone to yeah, do their homework. Dressed as me on a training day. You look up you and you look up me. I'm a nun in this sport, baby. You ain't I don't nothing. have to cheat. You will only ever I don't be have to remembered eat more meat. For I don't Robin have to, I don't, I don't have to Angeles, stick shit up my ass to make me feel a certain type That's of your way. Legacy. I don't Tattered. have to use that Torn certain things. I don't have to uh, manipulate my gloves. I don't you have do. to do those you do. things. You have to do so it all. Night, you have to do it all. So at night because when I look into the mirror, and you're being trained by a loser, so that makes two losers. And you're going to get knocked out on Saturday night. No problem. I don't feel you because you're a lying little dosser. And if I don't stub another gloves in my life, I'm good. That's the difference between Fuck me and you. I don't have to fire another day in my life. Doesn't matter. I'm good. Because your legacy's already finished. I'm good. All the excuses. I'm good. How, you've been can done. you say the same thing? You've been done. Finished. Can you've been you say the same thing? You've been beat. You've been so humiliated. And you've been busted. And let's End get of. Ready. End let's of. Go. And that's it. And there's no one Nervous in here energy. can accept the fact that this little pussy got his ass handed to him, not once, but twice, and he can't do nothing about I accept, it! Because he ain't I, fucking I, man enough! I accept That's why! It. I accept with, uh, no, look. Tell him what to say, Shelly, come on. <laughs> Tell him what to say. It's when fine. I was in the condition I was in, I could have, I couldn't, I could have stopped the fight. I could have went back to the, my corner. But you know what? I'm a king. I'm a warrior. I you, didn't, you didn't look like a king when you was getting fucked up in that corner. I accepted what I was going through to still fight you. Yeah, you look like a dosser. You didn't look like a king. It. And you still couldn't like knock king, me out. Me. You still you couldn't look like do a dosser. But guess what? If you look like a dosser, I look like a king. And you was in the situation. When you was in that corner, getting your head pulled in. Your trainer, JD. Someone please go. He got everybody for Mark Breland. He saved your life that night. Don't know. You didn't want to sack Tyson. You wanted to give him a pay rise. Give me one second. Give me one second. Both of you. Give me one second. Give me one second. He needed a pay rise. He saved your life. I don't know how wise this is, but we are going to ask you to face off because we're running out of time on the live show. Tyson. That's why I do the things outside of the ring. Tyson. My family have an understanding. My children have an understanding that daddy has a dangerous job. You know, there's no other sport in this world that have that have t collected as many lives as boxing. Amen so to I that. Understand what I'm going through. And we so respect both of you for about, those reasons. Can children. I ask We're both good. of you I don't respect to his. stand I think up? He's a Deontay, will you do us a favor? Can you stand up? We're going to do a face-off one final time. We have a huge show coming up for you on Saturday night. Massive respect. No, we're not going to do. I apologize. No. What you say? No. Bob Aaron says no. Bob Aram says no. All right, we're going to leave it there. Listen, we do have a television show still coming up. Deontay, I appreciate you. Thank you very much.